Welcome to the world of titration. A typical titration setup consists of a burette, a burette stand, and a flask. First, make sure the nozzle of the burette is closed. Then, while inserting the nozzle of the distilled water, place a couple of drops, or maybe a few squirts, into the burette. Then, open up the nozzle to filter out any kind of debris. Now that you've completely rinsed out your burette with distilled water, the next step is to actually take the NaOH and put a few squirts into the burette. Then, following the same procedure as last time, open up the nozzle once again to drain in any impurities from the nozzle. Make sure to get the last drip with the beaker from the nozzle. Taking hydrochloric acid, measure out the desired amount that is needed to titrate. From the graduated cylinder, pour it into a flask. Place a piece of paper underneath the flask to observe your observations later on. Before you finish your HCl solution, make sure to add 2-3 to three drops of phenolphthalein. Now that you've prepared a flask full of HCl solution, the next step would be to fill the burette with an NaOH solution. To do this much more easily, insert a funnel on top of the burette, then add the desired amount of sodium hydroxide. Typically, this would be filled above the zero line. Remove the funnel and slowly release the valve on the burette, allowing the excess NaOH to drain to fill the nozzle at the bottom. Do this until the bottom of the meniscus is just on the zero line. When you are recording your observations, make sure you never subtract from 50. Drain the solution containing NaOH and excess distilled water into the sink. You are now ready to titrate. First, slowly open the valve on the burette. Doing so will allow the NaOH to drip into the flask below containing hydrochloric acid. Make sure to do this in minute increments as you do not want to over titrate. Make sure to swirl the flask while titrating in order for the hydrochloric acid and the NaOH to fully react. Once the flask has stated a constant salmon pink color, you are now done titrating. Congratulations, you've just completed your titration. The final thing you want to do is actually rinse your burette out with distilled water. Then, proceed to turning it upside down and placing it in the burette stand. Once this is completed, open the nozzle on the burette, and then allow the excess NaOH or water to drain 